Hey guys, this is X Peter C1 again, and I'm showing you a modular T flip flop. If you've been watching my other videos, you can already understand that I like making things modular, and this is uh, very useful. It's going to be useful. This is the design I'm going to be using to make the paint uh, undo. So uh, if you have the pixel, say you have this pixel is on, but you want to undo it, or just move your cursor back and it'll turn back on again. And uh, all these are modular, so they work independently from each other. So I can turn the uh, top uh, right and top left independently from each other and they don't affect any other things. Same with the bottom. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. So once you have these um, design like figure out like this, uh, you there's also a reset. Beside having this as a um, uh, the undo for the paint program, this is also the exact same uh, idea I'm going to be using for my hard drive. Um, for that's going to save um, different pictures because uh, you can turn them on and off, so you can write zero or one and. You, um, or one to a zero and you can change them back and forth and if you need to you can erase all the data for that one uh, for that save so this is um, and I can just uh, load it up again and and uh, save onto it because I can inject the, um, the saves onto here and uh, it does a wonderful uh, idea so here is the one design all of it is exactly the same so I'll give you a second to show to show you. So what we have here is a button that goes onto these two redstone dust. They go onto this three this um, on these three repeaters, which is three ticks right here. Uh, I can't put um, um, redstone dust or and make this three because it's going to interfere with the sides, especially when you put these on the side next to it, uh, shown right over here. So if I put redstone over here, it's going to affect that. And if I put redstone here, when I put it on top of each other, this redstone will actually jump onto this redstone dust. Um, for example, if I put this on top, oh, sorry. So if I turn this off, you can see that this turned on. So that's why I have to uh, put redstone um, redstone repeaters over here and the same goes for this third one over here uh, since there's stuff and um, but uh, after it goes through these three repeaters it powers this block uh, which is powers this repeater which goes to the torch which powers this piston um, this block is powered by this this torch this goes in a repeater which turns which inverts this torch and then inverts this torch so it goes underneath it and powers this block so at one time both of the uh, both the torch and through the uh, the repeaters are off at the same time at uh, that time right there this repeat uh, this uh, piston is pushes the block but it, um, it both it turns back on and the repeater retracts too quickly that it leaves the uh, the block there and all this is is a reader to um, detect if it's a one or a zero and um, it's very simple to make so let's build a little small tutorial oh and this is the reset line which is this throw this wood piece and a st uh, stone block sand block here so if we were to make the start with the repeat um, the, re the restart the restart we would have to make uh, two deep or one deep two deep and one deep again so it's like this two one one and you put a redstone torch here and redstone dust all the way out so you have that you're gonna put uh, a block on top of that and a block uh, torch to your right 
and you put a block on top of the torch. You put a uh, torch again and you repeat this for how long you want to go up. To make the, um, the T flip flop, you put a um, block here and five, four blocks over here. Two blocks here, one block uh, pushed in the side and four blocks out like this. I'm going to put a redstone torch here, here, and here, over here. I'm going to put a uh, redstone dust here. You're going to put a block here. Oh, wait, five. So it's two, one, five. I'm going to put a redstone torch here, redstone dust here, redstone torch here, the repeater here, oh wait, dust here, repeater here, it's easier that way. A block on top of this, a repeater to pick up that signal from the block, a dust there, uh, three repeaters, two, t uh, two dust, and a button on the side or the back behind it, but I'm going to put a side so you can actually see it. And a sticky piston right in front of the torch. Uh, the trick is that you need to make this uh, three ticks right over here as well. So if we press the button, that's your T flip flop that's modular. Uh, I think I was the one who created this because I put it together. I was uh, trying to create my own T flip flop. and. I think I was uh, I created this myself. If uh, if this design wasn't already taken, and uh, the reset is oh yeah, you have to wire the reset. So if you have the T flip flop on as a one, you can reset that. Oh, and you have to put a repeater right over here. So I'll show you again how it looks like. I'm sure that you can uh, recreate this for many uses. Uh, if I said it, uh, this is going to be using. Uh, this is going to be used to do the undo for the paint, and it's also going to be the same design that's uh, for my hard drive, because this can be read as a one or a zero. So even if this is a zero, it will become a zero, and if this is a one, it becomes a zero again. And to make the decoder, I mean the, the this uh, this piece over here to read the one and zero, the reader. You dig one tor uh, one block down, put a torch on that face, and put a repeater block there. And you can either have a, um, a redstone torch so it's uh, it's on, or you can put a a redstone dust so it's off. So that's basically it. Oh, um, that, that's the GPU that it's being worked on. That's all you're going to be looking at. Uh, I'll be releasing that very soon, but thank you.